the show. Oh, I so much fun. Hey, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me on here, Lorna. This is such a great platform that you've created too. Thank you. Thank you. So Anna, go ahead and share a little bit about your background and um, just what you want to share with us today and then we'll jump right in. Okay. Yeah, sure. So um, yes, I am the general manager of the Keller Williams Hudson Valley group. We have three Keller Williams market centers throughout the Hudson Valley. I was the team leader in one of those offices for several years. So I've been coaching agents and working with real estate agents now for more than 10 years. And uh, I started my coaching practice about 10, 11 years ago. Uh, I've been in sales and business development for 30 years, which makes me seem older than I am, but I was really You're looking good, I started. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know, it's all I've ever known. And I think that being in a sales driven business is one of the greatest opportunities in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, real estate is an amazing industry and and just has so many opportunities to not only, you know, build wealth, but truly make a difference and touch people's lives. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I think that's what it's all about. And, um, you know, mindset is my thing that, you know, I geek out on mindset and helping people understand their behavior and how they think, because it is the difference between whatever level of success you want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you, if, and, and, you know, a lot of times I see top producers, um, and the, even so, so, one of the things I watched as I was coming up in this business, I see top producers who um, they make a ton of money and then all of a sudden they disappear. And I'm going, mm -hmm. mm, what happened? Right? Yeah, why was Something it happened in their life that they couldn't handle while still serving. Mm -hmm. Right? So that shifts. So I, girl, you, you know, we could talk about this forever, but let's focus. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. So, so I, you know, mindset, I know that that is what your show is dedicated to, which is why I'm so excited to come on here. Mm -hmm. You know, mindset's about perception, right? Mm -hmm. and, and mindset is about how we look at things mm -hmm. and all the stuff that we're talking about or that you can read about or that you can go to a class about, right? That outer game of building a real estate empire and, you know, having success and, and building wealth. It starts here with the inner game first right? It's got, it's got to start here. And so, you know, I think that we have amazing resources available to us. Um, but what makes it that some of us or some people can achieve success at a really high level and others struggle? Why, why do we see some, right? Why do we see some people hit these, you know, amazing levels of success and, and, and profitability in their business? They go on to do other things. And why do some people, you know, still struggle and daydream about that dream? Mm -hmm. And it's not because the people that you see um, are any smarter than you are. Mm -hmm. They've just learned how to master that inner game of their own thoughts. So, so I love that you started with that. So my, so my first question, how did they start mastering the inner game? Because, because we are not programmed that way, right? right? Especially, especially if they're coming from a different background, um, a different industry, Notice, guys, no matter where you're coming from, who's coming along? Yes, you yeah. are. Yeah, I just I just spoke about this um, actually recently. So, yeah, you know, you're always going to be hanging out with yourself. And um, and so the programming that you just mentioned is the key. And um, I also have a lot of um, education and certification in neuro linguistic programming, which is really just helping people understand the power of their thoughts. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, if you neuro linguistic is how we speak, right? And programming. So we're being programmed all the time. And we've been programmed since we were a very small child. Right. And, and honestly, if you think about children at a really young age, they're so brave, right? Mm -hmm. They're willing to do anything. They're willing to try anything until we tell them no, no. until we teach them, you know, the boundaries and the parameters. And of course, we're well-intentioned as parents and adults. We want to protect them. And it's really, really fascinating to me because I think that that relationship or that, you know, sense of wanting to protect people mm -hmm. uh, is really what continues as a pattern in our life. And so then we become programmed and, and some well-meaning people who may not think as big as you do are trying to protect you and they may, you know, impose their thoughts and beliefs on you. And so that's programming. Yeah. Right. So everything we're watching, everything we're listening to, everything that we're reading, um, it's all programming us. And so 
when you really examine that our belief system, which is a result of programming too, because our beliefs can change, right? Um, our belief system that's shaping our thoughts, right? Our thoughts are shaping everything that we say and do. And those actions are what brings results in our life. Right. And right. so those results continue programming us. Right. So if right. we struggle, if we lose a listing appointment, if we're not hitting our goal, what is the conversation that you're having in your mind? How is that programming you? Is it that it holds, is it holding you back and saying, oh my gosh, I can't do this? Or is it giving you an opportunity to examine how to do it better the next time? Right. So, so how do we start with all that said, um, what do you think, maybe, maybe what we could do is maybe you can share with them maybe three steps to shift in. Um, I know that Chantel, when we started the show, Chantel talked about this morning, she had, you know, a major conniption with, um, with something going on on Facebook and her company, and she was able to shift, but right. we were able to get into like what she did to shift because there, there's something there mm -hmm. that she's doing or she's learned how to do. Cause this takes time guys. This takes time. That's yeah. why we have coaches because first is awareness, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to say that word and we'll let you take it off. Let right. You, sure. You're a hundred percent right. The first step is awareness. You have to know and be aware what the thoughts are, right? You have to literally say, okay, hold on. And here's the next step after you're aware of it is question it, right? Why am I thinking this way? Why am I feeling this way? Where is it coming from? Is this even real? Because sometimes our feelings, like whatever you're feeling is real for you at that moment, mm -hmm. but do you have to stay there? So mm -hmm. sometimes I say your feelings are kind of lying to you because mm -hmm. if you change your perception, if you change your mindset, then you're going to change the way you feel, right? So you can quickly get in and out of those, those different states. Mm -hmm. So first step is awareness. You have to know that you're having that, that response or you're having those negative thoughts and you have to then question it. Where is it coming from? How can, you know, why do I feel this way? The third thing is to reframe it. So, you know, how can you, how can you get into a different perception, a different state of mind? What's a different conversation you can have with yourself? Mm -hmm. And that's really how you can move through it. And so it, it's simple. It just may not be easy. And it is about repeating that over and over again. Mm -hmm. And when you're reframing, it's, it's also important to connect with a different meaning or belief. Because, you know, if you go out into the garden and you cut down uh, the weeds that are growing and you just take a scissor and cut them down, uh, you may not see it for a little while, but what will happen? In a short while, it, it grows yeah. back, right? So you have to pull it out by the root. So yeah. You have to pull out the root of that negative thought because mm. it's so like in Chantel's, you know, story, this may or may not be true for her, but where was that negative reaction even coming from? It may, it may be at a deeper root than what she even thought at that moment. So mm. if you can replace that with something much more positive, much more meaningful, much more empowering, uh, that's going to change the dynamic of your belief system, which is programming your thoughts and your words and your actions and getting different results. Awesome. So I, I love this conversation so much. Oh my gosh. So let's like relate that into a conversation because remember everything starts with you. And then once you figure that out, right, once you figure out the three steps, awareness, where it's coming from, reframing, right? Now you go out there in the world and you get to deal with your buyers and your sellers. Not only that, you get to deal with your husband, your yeah. wife, your kids, the dog. You keep hearing me talk about that, right? Because that's bringing me back to when Julie was talking and she shared the five pillars of life. Okay, guys. Yeah. So I know this show is about real estate, but I got to tell you, it's all about life. Well, yeah, it is, it is about real estate and, and it is about life because here's the reality. Rega regardless of what business you're in, yeah. you are still who you are. And yeah. entrepreneurs are cut from a very different cloth. We can talk about that too. And yeah. so you are your business and your business will grow to the extent that you do. You grow. So if you are focused on your own personal awareness and mastering yourself and really understanding you know, more about your own behavior then that inner game starts to up your outer game, right? So mm -hmm. it, it, that's one of the biggest struggles I think that realtors or entrepreneurs have 
is that they're focused on the skills of the business and they're not trying to master themselves. Mm. So it's really having that self-awareness and understanding that mindset is everything. I mean, your thoughts are literally creating your world. Absolutely. Right. Every single one of them. If we say, okay, who wants to be a millionaire? That's exciting. Everyone can raise their hand, but are you thinking like a millionaire? See, in order to be a millionaire, you have to think like a millionaire first. If you want to be healthy, you have to think healthy. If you want to be, um, you know, really connected to your spouse and you or your partner and you want to be in a healthy relationship, well, your thoughts have to support all that. It starts yeah. with you. Yeah. And so it is really important, you know, I think for us as coaches and, and leaders in this industry to help the, the realtor understand, you know, how important it is to, to put time into themselves. You know, and people who coach with me and work with me, um, we're going through the numbers. You know, I, I could relate to a lot of things Julie was saying, Julie Harris was saying, you know, um, because I too believe we can predict more of our income and more of our outcomes in this business if you focus on the right um, actions every day and you break down the numbers. The numbers will tell you, you know, exactly what you need to do. Yet, if we're not prepared for that mentally, behaviorally, you know, if we don't take the time to understand a little bit of our own, you know, what our, yeah. our combination lock is, right, then again, you can have the best laid out plans, you can have, you know, attend all the seminars, your notebooks are full of notes, you've got the smartest, you know, bookshelf of anybody, you know, but if you're not applying what you learn, because you can't get past the negative thoughts, the limiting beliefs, the, the negative self talk, then you won't really see your full potential. Yeah, there's, it's not sustainable. It's not right. sustainable. That's, That's right. like, you know, and, I, and I, I'll, I'll relate it to, I remember this guy and I don't see him anymore. I, I see sell it with Sherhan all the time. But remember Lewis, who used to be on the millionaire, um, the, the, uh, the New York, you, you know what I'm talking about, yes, right? I do. What's his yeah. name? But he, he disappeared. Now, this was a kid who was, on top of the world, yep. selling multi-million dollar properties in Manhattan, yeah, and then nothing. Right, he disappeared. Right, Just disappeared. And, I think he, I think I already actually had a nervous breakdown or something. Oh, that's sad. And, and yeah, you know, I think that so you know it's a double-edged sword, right? It's yeah. Point. You know, this business is not easy and, and there yeah. are a lot of challenges. We know every market brings its unique challenges. I mean, don't even get me started about all the crazy challenges that 2020 brought, right? Mm. I mean, we, in order to be a successful entrepreneur, and I, and I do believe, and I try to do everything in my power to help realtors connect with their image as an entrepreneur, because salespeople think very transactionally. Salespeople in, in general think I about the mission. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. think about the next sale, right? And they mm -hmm. go on to the next thing. Entrepreneurs are building something. Yes. Entrepreneurs are focused on building a business. They're building legacy. They're thinking about profit, not just the commission, right? So it's a very, very different mindset. It's a very, very different behavior profile. Yeah. And so, you know, entrepreneurs uh, and, and what it takes to be successful in this business, you know, you have to be resilient. You have to be willing to shift. Yeah, you know, 2020 taught us that. We had to pivot. We had to do some very quick things in our companies. Uh, you know, at Keller Williams to keep it moving forward for our agents. And, and you know, we did that, I think, really at a high level. Mm -hmm. um, and you just have to constantly be focused on, you know, how do I win the game? That's another yeah. entrepreneur's thing. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, on, I'll give you five or six things if I, if I have a minute to do that. I think really identify the mindset of an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I'll invite you all to write this down. And ask yourself, do I show up like this? And if not, how can I get more into that mindset? Right. So I right. think number one, entrepreneurs are visual people. Oh, hold on, Anna. Hold on. Let me let me engage these guys. So as Anna is is because I just saw Am 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 Amrita, she popped in late, so she missed a lot of the earlier stuff. So I'm gonna make a request for someone to be generous in our in our group today. And as Anna is sharing each of the the um, the the points. If somebody could post it in the chat for me um, so everybody could have access to it. So go ahead, Anna. Thank you. Okay. No, that's great. So I think entrepreneurs, first of all, they, they visualize, right? They're visionaries. Mm -hmm. They have the ability to create that vision. Uh, and so they're moving fast. 
They take action. That's something that I think separates entrepreneurs from, from anyone else too. And so they can see what they want and then they create the action plan to go and get it. Even if they know that they may need to build kind of a team around them, like even if they realize, okay, so I'm not the most detail oriented person, right? But I'm a driver. I can build empires. I can help people do the same thing. I just, I have to know I have to have someone in my corner who can be the detail oriented person and help me, you know, get some. Do the, minu- the, the, the minutia of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think, you know, entrepreneurs are not afraid to work hard, you mm-hmm. know, and they're, they're not afraid to get into it and roll up their sleeves. And uh, that sometimes can also be something they have to manage better, right? Because sometimes our strengths have to, um, you know, if we don't manage our strengths, they can actually start to work against us. So we have to also rein in that we're not workaholics, but because an entrepreneur usually, you know, comes at it with this high drive and this ability to want to just like get a lot done. So they, Mm -hmm. they do work very hard. Um, And I think that the third thing I would say about entrepreneurs and their mindset is they have a desire to win. Mm -hmm. And, and more importantly, they want to show up and they want to do better than they did the day before. Right. Right. There's this, like this little like fire in the belly that says like, I want to do big things. Now, the flip side of that is, do you have the action plan behind it though? Exactly. Because you can think big and you can have a lot of energy and a lot of passion, but how do you break down those activities and focus on the daily lead generation, you know, making sure you're, you're building a pipeline, having the tools in place like a, a killer CRM and, and, you know, building that network that's going to refer business to you, the follow-ups, you know, so it's not enough to just think big and act big and be bold. You have to have the systems behind it too. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think entrepreneurs are leaders, mm-hmm. right? They want to be out there and they want to, they want to drive things, but they also want to be influencers and leadership mm-hmm. is influence. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's another caveat of, of an entrepreneur. And they, you talked about this earlier, they solve problems, mm-hmm. right? They solve problems. They provide solutions. So, you know, those are just a few things that I think, you know, are indicative of the way an entrepreneur thinks. And again, it all starts with how you think. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be successful at a high level, do you get up every day thinking I can do it and I can figure it out if I don't really know how I can figure it out? Or do you allow a lot of those limiting beliefs to creep in and cause doubt and, and, you know, really, you know, bring down your self-confidence? Yeah, and, and, and as you said, as you as you're saying that, one one of the things that's coming to me when I said earlier, post in the comments. We, we have a bunch of people on this call, and I said, post in the comments who wants to be a millionaire, and nobody did. So that that alone, I mean, even if I couldn't, even if I don't want to be a millionaire, I would have said me. I think you rose your hand, um, I did. Adam. Yeah, uh, but th- that just gives you so well, check your. Let me reframe, I'm sorry, let me reframe the question. Maybe this is a better question. So yeah. maybe it's who wants to think abundantly? Yeah. Who wants to live That's an abundant so life? Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, this is a whole other subject we could talk about too. The mindset. A whole other show. Money, right? The mindset <laughs> about money. I yeah, mean, we'll do that one next month. But all ahead. right. Well, anytime I want to talk more about it, no. But yeah, most people want to live an abundant life. And that is a different vision for everyone. If we were to ask the audience and other people, you know, what, what is your definition of an abundant life and and what is important to you? We're all going to have different comments. Mm -hmm. I think part of my role as a coach is to inspire people to think bigger. Absolutely. Okay. Now I'm not here to put goals on you. Your goals are your goals. I'm here to help you get there faster Mm -hmm. and easier than you would alone. But I also believe that I have the ability to ask powerful questions and get you to stop and think for a minute Mm -hmm. and entertain the fact that you could possibly think even bigger than you are right now. And so when you think about being a millionaire, it's not so much about the money. It's about the mindset. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the mindset. So I just want to acknowledge the people who are posting in the chat now. Kristen, millionaire, yes, freedom, millionaire's freedom, yes. that's your, your definition, and uh, Victoria says, yes, I want more, an abundant life, so that's, that's what we're talking about, guys, and, and the fact that you guys are able to, you know, 
you may not be verbalizing it to us on screen, but you're pu you're putting it out there. That there's power in that as well. So oh, yeah, that's a whole other show too. Right? Whole <laughs> the, the power, the power of attracting, and 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 for me, it's connecting with God and the divine. For you, it might yeah. be the universe. You know, but but realizing that there is this universal energy out there. And that yeah, when you yeah, declare yeah. it, it's yours. Mm -hmm. And when you put it out into the universe, it's yours. And if you have a dream, it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. I don't dream about becoming a neurosurgeon because that's not my vocation. Mm -hmm. But I do dream about how can I create opportunity to inspire people? How do yeah. I create opportunity to get people to think differently? And so, you know, I love when, when I see creative entrepreneurs like you, Lorna, doing platforms like this. I say yes all the time to come onto things like this because I want to do my part in 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 just getting someone to think. Mm -hmm. Just just sh just ship them. Just ship them out of the the how do I say the sea of um of. Uh, there's a lot of white noise. Yeah, there, there's it's a annoying. lot of white noise yeah. in the world. So I I'll use this as an NLP. Um, uh, technique, right? This is part of a coaching uh, tool that we, we've used. So if you were to sit here right now, close your eyes and visualize you, you're, you're sitting on Main Street USA during one of those like traditional ticker tape parades, right? And all this paper is flying around you. Mm -hmm. And if I turn to you and I say, I want you to grab 186 pieces of paper. All right, forget about how crazy that might be just I know. Talk, right? but, but the fact that there are probably millions of pieces of paper falling around you and mm. i'm asking you to just grab a very very small percentage of them 186. that is a metaphor for the amount of data and information that is coming at us all day long right 24 7. 24 7 um social media on the news on the radio podcasts books meetings whatever right and so, and it's a blessing and, and it sometimes is a curse because we're in an age like never before, right? Google is your best friend. You need to know something and you got it in two seconds. You know, it's so funny listening to my kids who are adults now. And, you know, it used to be call mom and ask her how to do something. Now it's like, oh, I just Googled it. I went to YouTube. I figured it out, right? And so there's all this stuff coming at us all mm. the time, right? And we can only grab onto so much information right? About 186 bits of it. So, so I use this as a metaphor too, when I coach realtors around their lead gen plan and marketing plan, right? How mm -hmm. do you make sure that you're one of those 186 pieces of paper that the average client is, is going to grab onto, right? How do you stand out and be different? Right. But for ourselves, you know, if we're picking up the wrong pieces of information, or if we're allowing, you know, the, that information to program us, is it programming us to think big or is it programming us to think in fear, yeah. right? So I just want to inspire people to, I think, be, be really confident and unapologetically create, courageous, Absolutely. you know, because listen, we're not perfect and that's not the goal here is perfection. The right. goal is to be better than you were yesterday. yesterday. And the goal is to figure out who's got the resources and who's got the information, the support, and, and how do you plug into the most powerful things that are only going to lift you up and create an opportunity for you to level up and, and get bigger results? Absolutely. I, I mean, you could not have said that any better, any better. <laughs> I mean, like, just drop the mic, level up, right? Well, I mean, I think it's evident. I'm very passionate about this because, you know, honestly, it I'm makes on me- on my skin right now. Yeah, it makes me sad to think, you know, how many people- are going through life, letting life happen to them, rather than realizing that it is it is your opportunity here to design your life. And I think, you know, we see it all the time. And, and you know, living a life by default is just not for me. Not, and so yeah. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm willing to say I'm not the smartest person in the room on any given day, because then that means I have more to learn. Yeah. But right. I am someone who wants to take control of mm -hmm. how she designs her life. Absolutely. And, and that I think is really what, what we're talking about with mindset. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anna, oh my gosh. We, can go on we get to do a, a whole show. Yeah, listen, anytime you want to do oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
Yo, I, I mean, I heard you say so many things, so many things, so many things. And um, by the way, post in the comments, I keep saying that, post in the comments what you're hearing Anna say that you're going to use when you leave here. I keep asking that question because yeah. I want to really anchor what she's saying so that you make a difference in your life just by using, if it's even one nugget, just one. Yeah. That's all you need. That would make a total shift for you. Right. Yeah. 100%. So, mm -hmm. so tell them, Anna, how to reach you and what you, what your free gift is. Yeah, sure. So I too am someone who's very approachable. I'll give you uh, my cell phone number, email in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, you can contact me directly if you have any, any questions or want to talk a little bit about coaching, you know, whatever. But um, I also have some uh, resources I'd love to share with everyone here today. Um, number one, I would love for you guys to connect with me on social. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I started last May that has turned into be uh, really an amazing opportunity um, is I created a closed Facebook group. It's called Monday Morning Mojo uh, with Anna Gibbs, Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. So I'll put the link for that in here too. And um, when you join the group, you'll have access to all of the previous content that I've been sharing since last May. Mm -hmm. So every Monday morning, I go on and uh, do a live coaching session at 7.30 Eastern. Actually, if, if somebody could do me a favor, I'm sure you have someone behind the scenes. If they yeah. could put it in for me, it's facebook.com forward slash Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. Um, so every Monday morning at 7.30 a.m., I do this live coaching and then we record it and put it on my YouTube channel and we share it again on the on the group page. Plus, I share a lot of content. So if you go into the file section, you'll see, um, like, for instance, I had um, talked about, you know, really getting clear about the goals you want to set in the different areas of your life, like you heard today on your show. And I've, you know, I have resources there like the Wheel of Life Assessment and other things that can really help you level up. And the topics are, you know, on everything from mindset to time management, to goal setting, to relationships, how to manage our emotions. You know, I'm just using all of my knowledge, all of my resources and creating a platform. So I'd love to see yeah. some of you join me there. And then if another um, opportunity that I'd love to give to all of you guys too, if you go to knowmypotential.com, knowmypotential.com, K-N-O-W, I, you will see when you go there, a um, link that you would be able to request a free behavioral assessment. I would love to give you an opportunity to take this assessment. And I think when we really get to understand our natural modalities, our natural, you know, way of thinking, the way we tick, our behavior, you know, now, and what the assessment does, and I will also, um, you will receive a free consultation with me where I'll go through the assessment with you. Mm -hmm. In one hour, you will have some new insight into your strengths and how to leverage them, you know, how to really focus on how to, you know, communicate better, knowing more about why you do what you do so that the, the you know, that secret code starts to become less secret and you can yeah. use that to hit, you know, the goals that you have in your yeah. professional and your personal life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anna, wow. That's a lot of gifts. <laughs> well, my pleasure. Thank you. you know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for and, inviting uh, me. This is great. So before we leave, before we leave, Amarita, she was asking uh, if you want to answer it, or I could take it. Uh, what was the unapologetically? And I'm, I'm assuming she means, what does it mean to be unapologetic? I love that. So when I say be unapologetically courageous or be unapologetically bold, it means that you stand in your truth and, your power. and that you and your power and you don't try to downplay it. You don't apologize for who you are. You don't shrink back and play smaller to make someone else feel more comfortable. Right. So there's just, you know, no holds barred. You show up in your full glory the way that you were created to be. Mm -hmm. And realize that the world is probably waiting for you in some way, shape, or form, right? Absolutely. That, that's part of the abundant life that you say you want, is yeah. to really be that person who can stand in her truth or his truth and his power. And use that in a positive way to contribute, support your clients, make good things happen, be a good person, be a great partner, a good parent, right? So yep. you apologize for none of that. Absolutely. And the first thing, though, just a caveat, 
first thing, and it pertains to all the stuff Anna just offered you and the stuff I'll offer you in the end as well, is you get to know who you are, not the person that you think you are, but the person who you really are. Okay. Absolutely. All right, Anna, my friend, we're over time. And the other speakers wait in. Love you. Thank Love you. you. On. We'll Love be you. In touch. Thank you so much. This is All wonderful. right, my dear. Thank you. Okay, guys.